हाय एवरीवन आई शुरुजीत वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन इकोनोमेट्रिक्स डे चैनल आज हम लोग सीखने वाले हैं क्लास सिक्स का मैथमेटिक्स तो चलिए बिना वक्त गवाए शुरू करते हैं आज का क्लास नाउ टुडे क्लास सिक्स स्टूडेंट्स वी आर अगेन गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू विथ चैप्टर टू playing with numbers and today's part is part 4 and today we are going to solve exercise 2.2 now those who have not watched the previous parts i have shared the link at the end of the video you can check the playlist also and do watch the previous parts and then watch this part then what will happen you will understand Uh, the sums also nicely as well as the concept also will be clear now let us come to the first sum of exercise 2.2 question number 1 find all the factors of the following numbers that means they are telling us to find out all the factors okay so first sum is 23 so if i want to do the answer so what will be all the factors all the factors of 23 are so what are the factors so what we have to do we have to do here we have to find out the factors okay so 23 is a prime number so it will go with 23 ones so what you get 1 and other one is 23 clear so all the factors of 23 are 1 and 23 now first one a done now 21 so 21 again we will find out the factors so what you will get 3 sevens are 21 again seven ones are clear or no so what will be the factors all the factors all the factors of 21 are now which are the factors now here what you get one first is one after one three after three seven and then the last one is what 21 and 21 clear now let us come to question number c okay so c first we will do we'll find out the factors 2 9 18 again 3 3 are 9 again 3 1 are 3 so what are the factors so all the factors all the factors of what 18 are so first we will start with 1 then 2 then 3 clear no now after that see 3 1 2 3 now another factor comes here 3 and 2 if you multiply 3 to the 6 so 6 is also a factor clear no then again 3 into 3 9 is also a factor and then the number itself 18 is also a factor clear no see one you can divide by 18 two also you can divide three also you can divide six also you can divide six three is 18 nine also you can divide with 18 and 18 also will go with 18 clear no like this way you have to find out the factors not only these factors one two three three like this no not like that okay here they are asking all the factors this all is very very important okay now next one 32 So 32, I will do LCM 2. It becomes 16. Again 2, 8s. Again 2, 4s. Again 2, 2s. Again 2, 1s. Okay. So 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 1. Okay. Now when we will write the factors, all the factors of 32 are now 1. Okay. Next 2. Clear or no? After that, again you don't write two to two. Okay, now two into two, what four? So another factor is four. Then two into two into two, two to the four, four to the eight. Then eight is a factor. Clear or no? After that, after eight, two into two, four, four into two, eight, eight into two, sixteen. So sixteen is a factor. Clear or no? And after sixteen, then what? Thirty-two. So what what are the factors? One, two, four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two. So 
so these are the factors of 32 clear now let us come to 24 next sum so answer so all the factors all the factors of 24 are now 24 will do lcm so 2 12 again 2 6 again 2 3 is a again 3 1 a. so what you get 1 then after that 2 then after that 3 okay now 2 2 is a 4 so 4 is also a factor then 2 into 3 6 6 is also a factor then 2 into 2 into 2 2 to the 4 4 to the 8 so 8 is also a factor see so many are there so 1 2 3 4 6 8 after 8 see 12 okay 12 is also a factor and then what 24 24 is also a factor now after that let us do next one 63 so 63 if i do 3 2 the 6 3 1 the again 3 3 7 the okay again 7 1 the so all the factors all the factors of 63 are so 1 then 3 then after 1 then 3 then you can take 7 okay now see here 3 3 is a 9 so you can take 9 also clear or no and then see 21 after that 21 you can take so 21 and then the number itself 63 clear or no see 7 3 is a 21 okay so we wrote 21 now after that the next sum 49 so 49 if you do here 7 7 is a 49 again 7 1 is a so all the factors these all the factors of 49 if you want to write you can write okay r so what it will be 1 then 7 and 7 7 is a 49 so 49 clear no? now next one is 33 so all the factors all the factors of 33 are so 33 if you do lcm 3 11 again 11 ones so what you get 1 clear no then 3 then 11 and the last one is 33 so i hope question number one how to find out all the factors you have understood okay now let us come to the next question question number two find the first five multiples of the following number so you have to find out the multiples multiples means what if you know the table bus enough okay so the first five multiples if i write here multiples okay of three are so what three ones are three three twos are six three threes are nine three fours are twelve three fives are fifteen finished over now next one four the first five multiples so four table you must know multiples of four are so what what four ones are four four twos are eight four threes are twelve four fours are sixteen four fives are twenty finished over then here also number c the first five multiples multiples of six are only you to know the tables okay six table six ones are six six twos are twelve six threes are eighteen six fours are twenty four six fives are thirty over finished now here the first five multiples multiples of 9 are what 9 table 9 ones are 9 9 twos are 18 9 threes are 27 9 fours are 36 and 9 fives are 45 clear now question number e 11 the first five multiples multiples of 11 are 
11 ones are 11, 11 twos are 22, 11 threes are 33, 11 fours are 44, 11 fives are 55. Finished over answer. Now for 12, the first five multiples, multiples of 12 are what what 12 ones are 12 12 twos are 24 12 threes are 36 12 fours are 48 and 12 fives are 60 clear got it then 16 so what will be the answer i am not writing the first five multiples only i am writing the answer so 16 table 16 ones are 16 16 twos are 32 16 threes are 48 16 fours are 64 16 fives are 80 Clear or no? So this is the answer. And this 21. So what will be the, let me write. What will be the answer here? 21 ones are 21. 21 twos are 42. Then 63. Then what? 84. And then 105. Clear or no? So I hope you have understood how to find out the first five multiples of different different numbers. Okay. Now let us come to the third question, fill in the blanks. So we have to fill up the blanks. First one, number A, the third multiple of 15 is, third multiple means 3, okay, 3 will be multiplied with 15, that means 45 or you can do like this way, 15 3 is how much? 45. Then number B, the fifth multiple of 7, that means five, fifth means what? 5, so 5 into 7, 35 or 7 5 is 35. Clear or no? Then the difference between, difference means subtraction. Between what? The second multiples of 18. Second multiple of 18 means 18 to the 36. And 12. So 12 second multiple will be what? 12 to the 24. And if you subtract, what will come? 12. So this is the answer. Now, number D. Dash is a factor of every number. So every number factor will be there which is same for every number and what is that number one so one is a factor of every number every number will have one as a factor clear now let us come to the next question question number four find all the multiples of 15 less than 50 that means you have to find out the multiples of 15 which are less than 50 so multiples of 15 means you to find out the 15 tables okay 15 ones are 15 15 twos are 30 15 threes are 45 15 fours are 60 but 60 to greater than 50 they told less than 50 so this is the answer clear now students those who are new in my channel if you like this video if you like my channel then I would like to request all my students to please give a like, share this video more and more with your friends and classmates and don't forget to subscribe my channel because when you subscribe, it really, really motivates me to make more such interesting videos for you all. And also don't forget to press the all notification bell, ting ting, so that whenever I upload such videos, you will get the notifications first. Now we will come to question number 5. Question number 5 is telling what? Find the multiple. That means you have to find out the multiple of what? 13 which is greater than 50. So 13 multiple you have to find out but it should be greater than 50 but less than 60. Okay. So for that reason you need to know the 13 table. So see 13 table 13 ones are 13, 13 twos are 26. 13 threes are 39, 13 fours are 52, 13 fives are 65. Now they are asking what? They are asking the multiple of 13 but greater than 50. So greater than 50, this part we will not take, okay? But less than 60, so this part also we will not take, clear or no? So what is left? 52. So the answer will be what? Answer will be? 52 clear now let us come to question number six check whether three is a factor of the following numbers or not okay that means three is a factor of 27 or not you have to say yes or no so now what we'll do for that 
you have to take 27 and divide it by 3. So, 3 nines are 27. So, the remainder is 0. That means it is exactly divisible. So, what I will write since 3 is exactly divisible divisible by 27 therefore 3 is a factor of 27 ok so you can write in your book see it is written yes ok yes 3 is a factor of 27 so what you can do this yes you can write it here only ok yes 3 is a factor of 27. Now, let us do here 36. So, what we will do? 36 we will divide by 3. 3 1s are 3. Then cross, then 6. 3 2s are 6. So, remainder is 0. So, what we will write? Since 3 is exactly divisible, divisible by 36. Yes, 3 is a factor of 36. Clear or no? Now, this one 50, if you divide by 3, 3 1s are 3. So, here 2, 20, 3 6s are 18. So, remainder is coming. So, what I will write? Since 3 is not exactly, exactly divisible, by 50, no, 3 is not a factor of 50, ok. Now, here also, see, here 57, it will be divided by 3, ok, remainder will be 0, 3 1s are 3, so 2 left, 27, 3 9s are 27, so what will the remainder, 0. So, 0 means exactly divisible. So, the answer will be yes. Clear or no? Here 72, 72 also same thing. 72, 3, 2 is 6, 1, 12, 3, 4 is 12. So, the remainder is 0. So, this also will be yes. Clear or no? Again 84, this also will be yes. 84 you divide by 3, 3, 2 is 6. So, 2. Now, 3, 8 is 24. And the remainder is 0. So, this also will be yes. Clear or no? I have not written. You must write like this way. Clear or no? So, students, I hope you have understood question number 6 as well as the previous sums. That is from question number 1 to question number 6. You have understood nicely. Now, it is your duty to practice these sums again and again. Or video agar acha lage, to video ko like, share or subscribe karna mat bhuliyega. मिलते हैं और एक अच्छे नए कंटेंट के साथ तब तक के लिए बाय बाय